Hey everyone, this is Mr. G and we are doing a sculpting tutorial on how to make a cool looking octopus tentacle. Uh, Jaden is our sculptor extraordinaire here. Hi. She's responsible for all the tentacles that you've seen in the 206 room and the big giant eyeball on the ceiling. She's going to be going through working some stuff and I'm going to just go through some of the basics and she'll throw in what she's doing as we go along. So we're starting with the sphere. This is uh, once you start up Mudbox, uh, sphere is one of the options, or you can go from the mesh create, nope, uh, create mesh, there we go, and sphere is what we're gonna do. Now Jaden, I believe, has two spheres over top of each other. What? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so some people like to turn off the grid, and you're welcome to turn off the grid. It's there to keep you sort of uh, oriented, but some people just like sculpting in 3D space. That's how you can do that. Uh, the software we're using today is obviously Mudbox and uh, Jaden has a Wacom tablet set up. We've gone ahead of time and I, I've tweaked a couple settings which your teacher should have told you about already. Uh, maximizing the use of the Wacom area and uh, configuring some of the pen settings. So first thing we're gonna talk about as Jaden gets started sculpting is subdivision levels. The whole thing that you need to wrap your head around with Mudbox is it has a certain amount of detail in it and generally objects come with a pretty low amount of detail. So you want to make big changes. You can see Jaden's already taken that ball and she's stretching it out to start forming the basics of a tentacle. This is all done with the grab brush and she's making a pretty big grab brush there so she's making large changes. Now Jaden is at what level are we at, Jaden? Uh, zero or one. We're at, we're at one. We're at one. So that's what it, it comes with zero and one. Those are your basics. And, and zero, one, and two are going to be where you're going to make large changes. So obviously you can see it's no longer a sphere. It's already starting to look like something that could be a tentacle. And we're just using a big grab brush and pushing and pulling and moving it around. You'll notice that it's not perfectly smooth in some things. The more we bend it and twist it, it gets a little unsmooth. And, and we'll fix that up. That's okay for now. We just want to form the general shape of what your tentacle is going to look like. So page up and page down will bring you between your levels. And I, I think you could probably do most of your uh, rough shapes here on probably level one works good enough with the grab brush. Uh, you can also hit W to turn the wireframe view on. And that will show you if you zoom in sort of how much detail level you've got. And you'll notice, especially in that view right there, that things are starting to get a little pixelated, a little stretched in that. But we'll fix that by going up some levels and, and smoothing them out and adding some more detail in. So again, using subdivision levels, right now we're just at the some of the lowest levels. That's where you make your big changes. So you want to get your overall shape. It's important to get your overall shape right now because it's tough to go back and do it later. So spend a little bit of time. I'm just going to let Jaden work here and just sort of get that cool look that we're going for. We're looking for one that's kind of coming out and stretching up. And octopus tentacles are often bigger at the bottom and smaller at the top where they come to a tip. So we'll... Uh, just let Jaden, this is all just grab brush right now. I think that should be good. We have not turned symmetry on. There is a symmetry option or what we call mirror option. But because we're only sculpting one, we don't care that they're perfect. If you were doing like a person, you'd probably like symmetry X or something like that so that you can do one eye and the computer does the other eye. But for what we're doing today, it's pretty much all going to be just, uh, just freeform sculpting on it. Here, let's go up a few more. So we're adding some more subdivision levels. Uh, that's done under the mesh add subdivision level or the shortcut is shift D if you like shortcut keys. And you can see right away, I think we're on three now that it does start to look smoother again because we've added, every time we go up a level, we add four times the detail in. So if Jade wants to go down to level zero, let's see where the sphere started. So we started at just over 300 polygons and it doesn't look very good. It looks like 300 polygons. And then as you go up, 300 turns into 1500, into 6,000, into 24,000 right now at level three. And this is, again, you can do a little bit more grabbing and refining the shape now that you've got some more detail in there. You can sort of push and pull that a little bit more. But again, all we've done so far is just grab brush. We want that overall shape right before we worry about any of the sculpting changes. I should be ready to go on to the details now. Or Using kind of some other to... brushes, okay. So we've got the overall shape done. We're happy with this, what we're looking for. 
I got a four. Yeah, I'll bump up to four. We've got 90, almost 100,000 polygons. That's cool. And max, anything below about um, two million is pretty good. You want to avoid, you know, even when you get to one million, you want to start thinking, do I really need those levels? So now Jaden switched to the wax brush. This is the brush that we use probably 90% of the time. The wax brush is like having, if you've got a piece of clay in front of you, it's like having some clay to put on and then building it up with your hands and then smoothing it out. So, I'm just fixing some of the mesh right now. Okay, yeah, she's just cleaning up some of the areas that sort of got stretched. And you can also use the smooth brush a little. So Jaden's using the shift and she's waxing over top of it. And what that does is shift is the smooth. So if you don't press any buttons down, go zoom in a little bit, Jaden, and show him just what the sculpt's doing. That's what Sculpt does. Now, if you hold Shift down and you go over that, it smooths it back out again. And if you do Control, Control digs into your mesh and makes a hole. And again, you can see there that even that is starting to get pixelated. So for what we're wanting to do with this size of a brush, eh, it's okay. But really to get all those, you'll see soon, to get all those little details, we'll go up to probably five or six, I would guess. So, so far we started with the grab brush. We're using the wax brush just to fix some areas. And I'm gonna start with the suction cups. Okay, do we need to spin that a sec for me? Do we need to make that a bit fatter at the bottom? It's kind of skinny. Let's, let's make this area here a little fatter so it looks like it's coming out of the octopus part there. So we're using, the, Jaden's using the grab brush and she's just gonna pull it thicker. Like it was just, I think it was pinched a bit too much down there. And if you rotate around, now let's get it even fatter down at the base there. Yeah, there we go. Now we get a little bit fatter. We can see how it's tapering up till it gets to the top. So we're up into level four and we've got, which brush are we switching to, Jaden? Foamy. Foamy is a fun brush. And I'm just putting a circle everywhere that I want one of those suction cups. Yep. And you can see the size that we're doing. Now, depending on how much you've stretched yours, you may not be able to match the exact size that we have for our tentacle. So you might have to just make your brush a little bit smaller. And as Jaden goes up, she's making her brush a little bit smaller, especially as we get up to these next ones. If you hold uh, B down and press your pen, that'll make your brush a little bit smaller each time. Or bigger, there you go. And again, we're just roughing in the details. This isn't the final, but it gives us, lets us know where we're going to be putting these guys. And then let's go up a little more. Up to level five, we've got three, almost 400,000 polygons. I like how that mess is doing that. Uh, I'll make it stronger so that they're more prominent now. Yeah. So we've just increase the strength on the brush, which you can do on the slider, or you can do by holding M down and scrolling up and down, and that's just adding more uh, power to the brush. And then again, depending, remember, we're using a, a touch-sensitive pad, so the harder you press, the more will show up also. And then I'm going to grab the flatten and just flatten out the center of these. Going down as I go. about right. Uh, 
That's what's next. Oh yeah, I wanna make the shape a little bit smoother. So she just popped down to level two, is back to the grab brush, and it's just gonna, again, play around with that overall shape. You see th all the detail we did up above doesn't look great because it doesn't really there right now. I think we had about six of these tentacles when we were doing the uh, room 206, and we just rotated them around, printed them at different sizes. Oh yeah. But you definitely want to give it some life. Don't just have a straight tentacle. You want to have it look like it's reaching through something. Back up to level five. I'm gonna take the, which was it? The foamy, make it smaller. Once again, with a lot of strength and control into the center of each of these. There we go, instant suction cups, folks. Don't get obsessed with the undo key. One of the guys that I know is one of the best sculptors I've ever seen says he never uses control Z. If he makes a mistake, he just smooths it out because nature is not perfect. So to try and get with Mudbox, the whole thing is about building up a shape and then smoothing it out with your shift. To, you know, you're never gonna get it right. A lot of people get just, they get frozen because they can't get the shape to look perfect in one go. And that's not what Mudbox is. As you see, Mudbox is building it up, flattening it down, carving into it. Uh, you got to think differently when you're working with this. And we find Mudbox, uh, I mean, Jaden looks this, makes this look really easy. Uh, most Mudbox creations look bad for most of their life until they start looking good near the end. Right, what I'm going to do now is, once again, the foamy and make these little, little like, Warts. Warts around it. I kind of went overboard with the ones I made for the room and put a lot of them in there, but. It's always good to work. have reference up too. We didn't open any reference because Jaden's made so many of these, she doesn't want to see another one, but you definitely want to have some pictures of octopus tentacles up there, uh, up on your second monitor, so you can be looking at it and seeing what these things actually look like. Don't sculpt from memory, unless you have an octopus in your house, you don't know it good enough. Get yourself some reference and have it available. And grabbing the wax brush, I'm gonna go over like the general spine of the back. Build up some muscle back there. Okay, more strength. Just a basic blotch around the back, slowly going up to the top. And around them to build them up more. Yeah, so we're building up and then smoothing down. There we go, smoothing down, then building up. I think we're still on level five for those keeping track. That's again, where are you gonna do most of your small detail? We really got a spine back there. And you wanted to go into another layer for the stamp? Yeah, so we're gonna play, we're gonna show you a stamp now. We've got the general shape where we want it. But uh, I mean, tentacles aren't perfectly smooth. This one still looks way too smooth. So we created a sculpt layer by going under layers and creating a new sculpt layer. Now sculpt layer kind of works a bit like Photoshop. You can do things on that layer. If you don't like them, you can delete that layer and your original thing is below. Uh, and, and you can also fade out, out a sculpt layer. So Jaden's gonna find a, a, bra, a stamp over on the side that she likes, Even and she's spray. gonna use the spray brush, and she's gonna sort of spray this texture on. It's subtle, so if you zoom in a little bit, you'll be able to see a little bit better what she's doing. There we go. We're just trying to make it look like this isn't the smooth digital clay, and this is a great texture too, a great stamp. I 
can turn the strength up and then go over a couple of more areas where I want it to be more bumpy. Mm -hmm. And zoom in. Give us give us some bumps now. Zoom in now. Play with the the percentage or strength of your sculpt brush, so you see. Sorry, your sculpt layer. My bad. Yeah, your sculpt layer there, so you can turn that all the way from zero all the way up again. So it's nice because you can put a lot of detail in, then dial it back. And if you're not happy with the detail, you can just turn that layer off or delete that layer, and you've still got all the work you did before. Leave it at seventy-five. Adding more roughness around it. Ooh, this one it looks like the bumps of a should we make a new layer for that one yeah. and then I'm gonna just go around these circular things in the center this one part of the mesh does not like me that's yeah, a little stretch there we could maybe smooth that a little bit um, oh, it's got a nice bench in there <laughs> That's something we probably should have fixed back on an earlier before we went up, but this is all stay. just, yep. And then again, so we've got another sculpt layer for the second texture, and then if you want to dial that one back separately, you can dial that one down. You can play with the different amount that it gets from nothing to somewhere in between. I think that's about it. Do you want show anything else? I think that's it. I think we made a pretty cool looking tentacle in about 17 minutes there. Now, you're not going to do it in 17 minutes. Uh, like I said, Jaden's a pro, but um, this should get you started. Pause the video, rewind the video, take a look at it if you need to. Main brushes, again, that we use with a grab brush to get the shape, uh, the wax brush to build up, the foamy brush to make the start of the tentacles. Then we switch to the flatten brush to flatten them off. And then we did a negative foamy, did we, to make the indents? Yeah, negative, yeah, negative foamy. foamy with alt held down, or a control held down. And then just some textures, and foamy did the little bumps and warts on there too. Thanks for watching our video. Hopefully this gets you into Mudbox. It was control 10, or... Stop.